Welcome to the War Thunder with Subdude. How y'all doing today? Well, second dev server is up. Yay! Problem is, there hasn't been much in the way of change. The A10A late is still not in the tech tree. It's supposedly going to go before the F105D, which I really don't agree with. It should be after the AV8C. And the A4E, I, Gaijin has got this entire lineup all screwed up. Because there's no differentiation between different types of aircraft or different um, services of different aircraft. They would do better to put all Air Force planes on the left and all Navy planes on the right. And the reason I say that is because the Air Force and the Navy both have a lot of different aircraft. And the Navy's attackers and bombers and torpedo planes should all go into the same lineup, and the same should be done with the Air Force. The fighters should be in one line, even if it requires them to do a lot of nesting. And the same goes with attack aircraft, strike aircraft, and then bombers. But it's not for me to say because I'm not the programmer. So where is the A10A late? Don't know. Not here yet. I guess China. Yep, they got their J8. We'll take a look at it. Seeing as how I don't do China at all, I won't be flying it. But it looks like the... I'm, honestly, I, I really don't know what to call this. But it kind of looks like there was a menage a trois between the MiG-19, the MiG-21... And what was that other one? The Q5. So if you look at it, it's got two engines. It's got the Delta Wing of the MiG-21. And yeah. I don't know what to deal with, what the deal is with this. And I don't really care. 23 millimeter cannons, uh, PL5B, PL8, PL, PF10, whatever. Then it's got some rockets. So, I wouldn't be expecting to see this in ground attack so much as being a pure interceptor. Uh, 27.8 turn time, but again, this thing is going to go really fast. So its turn time might be low, but it's going to have a very wide turn. Not the type of plane I'm interested in. Not that there's anything in the Japanese tree or Chinese tree that I care about anyhow. Uh, Italy still got that F-104 ASA. S-A-S-A. This is a very big annoyance. There's little to no reason to grind through planes that I already have. 
I've already got a vampire. Don't want another one. Didn't like the first one. CL-13, already got one. Didn't like the first one. F-86K, got one. Don't like it. F-104Gs, S, and now the S-ASA, don't care. F-84F, don't care. Don't like it. Don't fly it. Already got one. Don't care. These are planes that are irrelevant in my gameplay. If I don't like them, I'm not playing them. If I've already got them, I'm not going to get them again. Now, you see, I've gone through the Italian line up to the G91YS until I get a plane that comes after the G91YS. I'm not interested in Italy. France. I really don't care about the F8E FN. I've got the F8E in the United States tree. I don't want another of the same planes. Still have to work on the Mirage 5F, but that's something I can do when I feel like it. Sweden, no improvements, and then the Israeli tree is finally opened up. But the real plane that I was looking forward to, at least to be able to test fly and play around with here on the dev server, still isn't here. Now, I know some of you have read my article that I wrote in War Thunder Live. And I basically said, you best be looking out for the A-10. Because it's not going to be the panacea you think it is. In ground battles, you're going to have to deal with close-in air support. Which means Tunguska or ZSU-234. That sort of thing. Anti-aircraft artillery. And the way the F or the A-10 works is through an area air superiority environment. This is not going to be the plane you take into battles without air superiority. And I know some players are like, it turns on a dime, oh great. Yeah, okay, and some planes are going to be able to get behind you working in twos and threes, and you're going to die. It's that simple. Maybe not in ground forces, but there you have to work around the enemy AAA. And that includes air-to-ground missiles. In air realistic, you're getting a runway start. And you're not in a fast airplane. If you look at this speed, 399 miles an hour. Five hundred and twenty six, and that is one of the slowest jets in the game. Let's step it down even further. There you are, P fifty nine A. This is one turny 
son of a gun. It can turn on a dime. And it's got some pretty heavy armament itself. 429 miles an hour. It's faster than the A-10. F-89B, faster than the A-10. F-89D, faster than the A-10. And it has air-to-air rockets. For ground attack, faster than the A-10. Faster than the A-10. Faster than the A-10. It, it, it just doesn't make sense. So, in ground realistic, the A-10 might be okay provided you've got air superiority. You haven't got air superiority, you're just begging to get shot down. So, those of you that have bought the A-10A, enjoy your 30 free repairs, because you're going to use them up in 30 attempts to fly out. Really that simple. The only chance you really have is if you get to fly enduring confrontation maps. And the reason I say that is because you can go to a point on the map that is not covered by the enemy fighters. You don't have to go into a hornet's nest of the aerialistic battlefields. That's a problem for this plane. Don't get me wrong. I like the plane. I want to see it come. And yes, I will work at grinding it out. But boy, is it going to be a pain in the butt. I've got the AV-8C. And I have not got all the modifications to it because I am not thrilled with its performance. In other words, I don't like it. Now, there are people that are good with it. Great. Have a ball. I'm not telling you to not like a plane. I'm just saying... Open your eyes, because this is going to hurt a lot. And if you spent $60 or 60 euros on that plane, enjoy your 30 free repairs. Because after that, 4,860 lions every time you go out and die. And that's provided you actually get to the battlefield and do some damage. Yes, provided you get to the battlefield. Oh, in the first two weeks after the patch drops, you can bet there's going to be nearly full teams of A-10As. Either A-10A early or the A-10A late. Doesn't matter. There's going to be boatloads of them. Because everyone wants to drive the hog. Well, if you really want to drive a hog that bad, go buy a Harley Davidson. Because this plane is going to frustrate you beyond recognition. And when the enemy team is full of rank 6 and rank 7 fighters, most likely just rank 6, F-8U, much faster. F-4C, much faster. F-100D, much faster. 
F-104s way faster. There's a lot of planes that are better suited for this game than the A-10. Like I said, I am looking forward to it. I do want to see it, but I'm not expecting it to be the panacea that everyone seems to think it will be. Matter of fact, I think it's going to be a flying turkey. Now, Gaijin will probably give it a little bit of a performance boost for the first few weeks that it's in the game to make sure people buy it. But I don't expect that to last very long. Do I want to see the hog? Yes. Do I want to fly the hog? Yeah. Do I think it's going to be any good? Not really. But that's about it. This is the second dev server. Uh, aviation doesn't really have a whole lot other than the new G Chinese plane. Um, that's it, folks. Subdued. Out.